All right, here we go. It is insanely hot and humid here. I've got Leo. Um, well, at least he's he seems comfy because I just noticed he was twitching, but he's out like a light on the couch. Um, yep, that's it. I'm just going to tell you this, man. Well, the lots of things I hope. The last German combat. It's gonna kind of turn out the way I would like, well, the same type of, um, how the hell would, you, would I call it, um, same type of entertainment value for my head or, um, due to the fact that, look, I'm just gonna, like, I'm just gonna tell you, it's not been going well. There's no flipping massive attack, even though, oh, I'll show it to you later. I'm gonna do, yeah, you can't see it. It's way past the camera view thing. But, uh, too little too late. The Germans did pierce the uh, Russian line kind of near uh, the meandering Mike Hacks uh, along the Nyman but um, and getting close to that spot there B.I.L. Lostock or whatever which I said was I think an extremely important place to get because there's just so many rail lines that it, it's just a hub but uh, we did the Germans did pierce it it's just too late. Um, there's, there's so many zones of control issues and, well, it's the end of the game. Well, the end of the game this way, and then we're going to go crazy. Um, kind of, I guess, because due to the fact we're going to have trenches and so on and so forth. Yeah, it didn't go as well as I expected. Um, the, the two gimmies I think I talked about, um, you know, things were looking good. I thought things were going to go well. Uh, this turned out not not so good obviously I didn't uh, pu uh, push the Russians back remember almost not all but almost all the positions that everybody is in and extended backwards from if you want to look at it that way laterally and backwards um, are going to be uh, entrenched and I'm reading still up on that and I'm going to talk about it on the live stream and so on and so forth anyways that didn't work out that didn't work out as well um, <laughs> oh my god, the worst of the worst of the worst was this one. I took a shellacking as the Germans. Uh, I rolled a one, I think. Well, it was a minus three on the die roll. I'll take a look later. But because uh, we're uh, fighting across a river and they get the broken train and everything's um, um, added on. God awful horrible. That did not work. And I was like, this isn't looking good. So I was like, okay, we're down to here. Then it was getting even worse. When I started going into the record keeping, excuse me, I originally thought I had 28 strength points here. Well, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but they're down to 20. But everything's gonna work out in, a, uh, in the long run, oddly enough, due to the fact that I thought as the Russians, uh, the Russian player, I had put enough um, strength points in there um, that uh, the Germans would need five hits to force a retreat. That's not the case. Uh, they need only four, which is great for the Germans because they can't do five anymore. I was like, oh shoot. Now, it's still gonna be very difficult for them to do it. If they do it though, I'm just saying this. Think about this. They're gonna be here now. What the hell happens with this entrenched uh, Russian position? Narratively speaking, the way I'm going to play it out is I would abandon this position because the Germans are here. I would go to here. I'm not going to start going into any little micro uh, breakthrough, breakout combats or any of that. I'm just going to go with it. We're going to give up this position and we'll give up this position, which would be the exact same thing that they wanted. I can't see me, I'll take a look at how many strength points are in 13. If there's a ton, fine. But think about this. I can't, you no, know, I'd have to give it up. Hmm. Son of a bay. Well, we'll think about it, but that's gonna, it's just a, uh, see what I mean? This is gonna be written up in the newspapers, man, regardless what happens. Uh, it comes down to anyways, there's only going to be a one in six, thank God they're only in broken train. There's only, uh, the uh, Germans have a one in six chance. So if they roll a six, 
they're in. It's because of the minus one and the fact that they only have 20 strength points because, the, like I said, uh, the, the Russians put in enough for four, but not five. I want to take a look quickly on the CRT just to see what the hell could have happened with a 28. I could have done, yeah, look at this. Okay, let's say everything was working out the way it would have been. So the Germans got enough strength points that they wanted and the Russians popped in enough five. I would have got it on a minus one. So yeah, it would have worked out a little bit better the other way for the Germans. If uh, the Germans had rolled a six or a five, they would, they'd be okay. They would uh, force the Russians to retreat and all hell will break, would have broken loose. On a side note, uh, God, I wish I could go upstairs uh, to take a look at the Luss. Um, I really enjoy um, um, putting those counters along trench lines and figuring out, I'll, I'll show you up the strategy later, but it, it's oppressive. It's actually oppressive even on the ground floor here. I'm going to have to go and try to sleep. Yeah, I'm going to go downstairs and sleep on, on my yoga mat there in the basement because there's no effing way I can... No way. Um, yeah, I took out a checkers board. Um, I've got the pieces out. I'm trying to morph. Uh, I'm like trying to figure think simple in a sense. I think it was kind of like slightly triggered from um, well, a few times looking at some uh, Great War games that uh, uh, people played in the trenches and looking at simplicity that way and just morphing things and then the Joffre card game and then I was like let's go take a look at a checkers board and see how if I can morph it anyways here we go uh, so the Rush, uh, Germans have a one in six chance here we go I'm not going to go through all the um yeah it's kind of good enough I can't I'm going to get a different um dice tower due to the fact I, I want a larger um, aperture to put the dice in. This sucks. It's so narrow. Um, you see what I mean? Like here. They're great. They're lovely little things. Um, I'm going to maybe talk to Custom Game Bits dude and see if he'll... Um... Okay. This is a biggie. It's weird. Uh, earlier in the week I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. This is a biggie. It is still a biggie, but and I'm, well, maybe it's a good time I'm doing it now because I'm I, I feel disconnected emotionally uh, from both of them. Earlier on in the week, um, I don't know if it was yesterday, biking to work, I was like, I don't want to do this combat. Uh, I don't want to do any kind of combats anymore because I keep getting con uh, emotionally connected to the troops, and like I don't want either side to whatever you know. And I'm like, Chris, it's going to happen. You just don't like chaos, um, I guess is what it is. I like, um, I want structure, but this is part of it. I'm like, just Chris, it's part of it, man. It's part of it. Um, here we go. One and six. The price of glory, eh, Schubert? You went for glory, here we go. One and six. You got a six, it's in, baby. It's in. Nope. Do you know what's weird? I saw a six. So that's it. This is. I'm going to say this on a side note as well. And remember, I've said this. I'm not. I play both sides as much as I can. The Russians, man. I seem to really know how to be gamey <laughs> with them. You know what? But that's kind of nice because due to the fact that they got flip. Uh, the Germans have, got, like I said before, I've got. Uh, um, just amazing rail superpowers. It, like, it's just nuts. And it goes on forever and ever. Um, oh, God. There's so much to learn and so much to... This game, though, man, I'm really... Um, yeah, it's good stuff for me. All right, I'm going to uh, do what I can, pop it in, all this stuff. That's it. It's the end of the Germans. Holy F. And then one more action to do, one more combat, the Boog River Bridge. I don't know when the hell I'm going to do that. Let's grab it on over here. I've got it all written down. I'm just waiting. Oh my god, what am I saying? I still have to do a counterattack. I'll do that. doesn't matter. We don't need to see that. That's just uh, whatever. 
this is that's just you know it's been going well for the um, but I'm just gonna say this and remember there's three tangoing here um, even though well, of course I haven't incorporated the German um, demoralization on the left hand side uh, like the Western Front holy shoot I've been so isolated this way, I'm going to have to do that. So in an odd way, the Russians are in great shape because they've been not fighting the Ottomans whatsoever. And I'm, you know what I mean? I'm going to go off and incorporate, um, basically, we're going into the grand campaign. Um, all right, that's it. I'm saying lots of ums. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm reminded of that um, drinking game from uh, How I Met Your Mother episode. Anyways, that's it. Okay, see ya.